Hello, this is Tony from Burmad. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the contents of the Burmad Omega Controller Kit and show you its major components. Note that Omega is a family of controllers with several models, each of which with unique features and different number of inputs and outputs. Pay attention to the product label on the box. It provides specific information about the controller and accessories in the kit you purchased. Here you can see the controller's model, which can be Omega, Omega RS, Omega M, or Omega L. Note that all Omega models may include an internal antenna, as indicated by the label. In case the controller doesn't include an internal antenna, the label indicates that the controller has an SMA connector to be used with external antennas. This icon appears on the label if the box contains 4C size alkaline batteries. This icon appears on the label if there's a universal power adapter in the box. And this icon appears on the label if the box contains an external antenna. As you can see, this specific box contains an Omega RS controller and all optional accessories, batteries, power adapter, and external antenna. When you open the box, the first thing you notice is the controller itself. The Omega M and Omega L models look very similar. However, these controllers are slightly larger. Now let's take a look at the other items in the box. This is the wall mounting bracket, which you can use to mount the controller on a wall. Use the bracket adapter to mount the controller on a valve or connect it to a pole mount U-clamp adapter. This is an AC to DC universal power adapter and a set of interchangeable electric plug adapters. You may use them if you have a power source next to the controller's installation location. Alternatively, these 4C size alkaline batteries can be used to power the controller in case there is no power source. An external antenna can be connected to your controller if it has an antenna SMA connector. Note that if your controller has an internal antenna, you won't find this item in the box. Finally, prior to installing the controller, we recommend going over the quick start guide to learn how to properly install the controller. Now let's go over the important components of the controller itself. Start by removing the terminal's cover. Here you can see the electric terminals where you can connect devices to the controller. Digital input terminals can be used to monitor devices such as water meters and other types of sensors. Digital output terminals can be used to control devices such as valves or pumps. Use the analog terminals if you need to connect analog sensors to Omega. Consult the quick installation guide to learn how to wire specific analog sensors to the controller. Use the power terminals if you wish to connect the controller to external power sources such as AC to DC adapter or solar panel. At the bottom of the controller, you can see the cable input slots. All cables connected to the controller should go through these slots. Controllers with external antenna include an SMA connector in the antenna port for external antenna connection. If your controller uses an internal antenna, the antenna port is sealed with a rubber plug. Finally, if the controller is battery operated, remove the battery tray cover to install the batteries. We hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and encourage you to contact Burmad with any other questions you may have. Burmad's Omega Controller. Powerful. Intuitive. Affordable.